Hello, welcome to this uh, the latest in the series of how to use your Coro Master in, in, a, in a masterclass that we've been showing you so far how to, to, to log into the unit, how to set up your displays, how to add some sources or windows uh, on top. In this video, I want to delve down into one of the newest cards in the range, which is the streaming and 4K media playback module. And I'm playing at the moment two, two sources from here, the, the bees and the jellyfish. Now, if I uh, uh, double click on that card, you notice manage turns up. And I can access that in a second location as well. So if we hit the cog wheel and come to module configuration, this shows you where the modules are in the mainframe. And uh, what you can do is hit on these three dots. You can either set up an IP address. I don't need to do that right now uh, because I'm not uh, attached to any streaming devices. We will be doing that in a future video. Um, but I can also manage the two media players built in. So you can do it from there. I prefer to do it um, from the front level, but you've got, you have the choice. So if we come in and uh, select Manage, first of all, um, you can see that uh, I'm playing uh, the Honeybees clip here at the bottom. This is my play queue. Above, I have my uh, playlist editor, and above this, I have a, a media browser. At the moment, I'm pointing at my uh, USB drive that I've got in the back of the unit. I can also uh, work from an internal drive as well. Um, to copy media to the internal drive, you just click on the three dots uh, and go copy to in, internal drive. Um, and that, that's where the media would turn up here. Here's my IP streams. And at the bottom, I have a uh, playlist library. This is empty in the minute. We will create a playlist uh, a little bit later. So um, what I want to do is go back to my USB storage and I want to add some additional media to this. So I'm going to stop this clip playing just for a second and I'll show you in a way in a moment we can do this without stopping the media. Um, you can see that the media stopped. Uh, we're on loop mode. We've set uh, the output resolution of this module, the, this channel of the module, to uh, 1920 1080p 60. Now, this, this module can output one 4K uh, piece of media and uh, one 1080p. Now, the, the problem you could have if you couldn't, don't unify this, uh, the resolutions is you have to keep on changing your scaling. So we, we have a, a drop down box to, to select that from our, from our bunch of uh, resolutions. Um, we have uh, play commands, we have a loop command at the end. Uh, down here, this is the play on startup mode, always uh, tick that. And uh, we can uh, cl click on the three dots, and this is where we uh, save this as a playlist or clear uh, the queue altogether. So if we want to empty and start again. Each piece of media has three dots as well. And in here, I can edit the duration. So in this case, I'm now going to make this 10 seconds. Uh, so I'm going to edit the duration. This is really useful if you're bringing an IP stream or a still and you want to change the length. You want to rotate um, through. A little bit like a carousel, uh, but, but much, much more powerful. Um, I'm also going to uh, drag some other clips down as well. So let's drag the jellyfish in here uh, as well. And I'm going to make this uh, 10 frames, uh, 10 seconds rather, as well. And then let's see what test images we've got in here. So we support all the, the normal formats, your you, you JPEG, your PNG, etc. This is a, an image of the card, so we're just going to drag this down. And we can, uh, here we, we've got just reordered that as well. That's going to be playing for, uh, let's see, it's 10 seconds as, as default. Let's make that five seconds. Okay, so um, I can just play this little this little cue I've got going. So we have the, the bees, and this will run for 10 seconds. Then we'll jump to uh, a picture of the module. Uh, and then after five seconds, we'll go to, to jellyfish. Okay, so th that's how we make a play cue. Now, while that's playing, if I want to uh, make a, another cue, I can create a playlist. This allows me to write, make one in the background. So... Um, I'm uh, just going to select playlists and then create add playlist. I'm going to give this uh, a name, so we're going to call this media one. Um, I want it to be 1920 1080 piece 60. So we add playlist. Now look what I can do. Uh, I can come into the, the drive uh, or, or the internal drive and I can start collecting media. Okay, so we're going to have the honeybees, 
Uh, we're going to have um, the jellyfish as well. And this time, just so we can differentiate, I'm going to make these really short, so they'll flip really quickly. So I'm going to make it two seconds. Now what I can choose to do is I can either choose to cue it and then play, or I can just play it directly. So it's going to load and play this. It's going to say that the play is going to temporarily stop this just for a few frames. And then it's going to play my new new piece. It's now playing uh, the new cue. So that, that's a, what the playlist gives to us. Um, so we can create that in the background and then load it. Now, the great thing is the, um, the API view is also available here. So you can see um, there's lots of commands um, for the, uh, this card as well. And within that, I can, I can navigate to clips and load a clip. I can push a clip to play. I can play a clip, then delete it. Um, there's lots and lots of functionality from the API commands as well. It's a great little card. It can do much, much more. Um, and in a future video, I'm going to show you how we hook up to the media encoder 100 to accept an IP stream into the unit uh, as well. So I hope that's useful. Uh, keep watching our other videos in this series. Thanks for watching.